Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. So today you read the title and you're probably like, Abigail, what is this video about? So there is a website called Influence. I hope I said this correctly. And basically, I spoke to you guys about in another video how I've been looking for brand deals and stuff um, since I'll be home for a month. And basically, the so um, Influence themselves had a deal, brand deal that they wanted. And basically, um, it's to talk about their influencer spotlight so today um the article the article the article that i am i was supposed to read and talk to you guys about was by mindy okay the article i talked to you guys about was about mindy parisi i hope i'm saying her name correctly but i will leave her name down below and basically I read the article and I'm not going to make this a long video because I feel like some of the stuff were like self-explanatory and kind of like the questions that were asked were kind of bunched up together in terms of like what the whole intent of the article is about. So I just picked like two main things to kind of talk about that I've noticed that I noticed in the article and how it also relates to me as influencers and I wanted to share with you guys who are either, whether you're an influencer like myself, a YouTuber or you're probably not an influencer, but you're thinking of becoming an influencer. So pretty much, um, just to tell you guys about, like, Mindy, what she is. So she is a mother. She's also a teacher. Um, she's a blogger, and she has her own website. I kind of do not remember the website. I didn't write that part down, but I'll leave it down below. So she pretty much, oh, and she's a wife. So she pretty much does a lot of stuff. She juggles a lot of things. Now, I kind of feel like I'm similar to her in a little bit of ways, not a lot, because I'm not a mother or wife, but I am a YouTuber, and I do work full-time with kids. So um, in that sense, I kind of understood, like, the juggling parts of balancing it all and that's something that was discussed in the article in one of the questions like how does she balance doing all those different types of things um so the first thing i have is first point i put was influencer marketing so she was just basically talking about how it takes time to be um monetized and stuff like that as a blogger which is the same with youtube and basically she said that she was doing it for five years and it's not until like three years later that's when she finally started to get monetized and get money for the things that she was doing and i can relate to that so much i haven't been, even been doing youtube for five years nor instagram but i've noticed how hard it is to attain and achieve certain goals and you honestly just have to keep on pushing because definitely it's, it's something that she wanted to do like she also mentioned that she was like because she knew like influencing and doing that is something that she wanted to do. Like, if you want to do, really do it, you have to push and you have to put the effort. And that's why I still have this YouTube channel. Because I'm not going to say that sometimes I didn't want to do YouTube. But you have to push into it. And then she also talked about knowing what brands are right for you based on your niche. And I can also, I have my own playlist and a whole video about that. But I want to stick to Mindy. So yeah, she was saying make sure like you're looking at the brands that actually fit your niche and knowing like okay this brand is going to be right for me you have to do your research and know like you can't just pick a brand because oh a brand a brand emailed me or a brand contacted me um i'm just going to choose them you have to like think about okay does this fit with my niche does this fit with something that a product does this product or what are yeah does this product fit actually with what I'm talking about, my audience. This is something that if I can bring it to my audience, they will gladly receive it. Or is it something that people are going to be like, okay, why is this, what is, what is this being, what's the meaning of this um, specific product on your page? So yeah, it's definitely important to try to stay within your niche. And the second thing was juggling a lot. It's hard, but it's worth it. So I kind of touched base on that. So, um, using the, t but she mentioned specifically, I wrote this down because I remember saying, I remember reading it in the article and it was use your time, use the time you have during your lunch break and she makes Instagram posts and if you really want it, you have to go for it, which I discussed. So I can agree with that fully, like using your time now, of course I'm home, so I have a little bit more time, but when I wasn't home because due to, you know, this virus, I was literally... At 7 in the morning, because I would get 
to work I have to be at work for 7.30. So at 7 in the morning, normally I'm on still on the train. So once I get out of the tunnel, which is only one stop to get out, and I'm out of the tunnel because I would transfer trains, I would literally be on my Instagram, putting up a picture, writing my post, writing my hashtag, so I can totally relate with that to that. And then also sometimes when I remember, I started trying to do with the same with my YouTube, putting comments on my um, videos so that I can also bring more attention and people could answer the questions like so so definitely i can agree with all of that but it was a pretty like lengthy article so i didn't want to make this video long but if you want to learn more about mindy and maybe you want to get more inspiration or things about as an influencer whether you're a small influencer like myself or a big influencer i will definitely be leaving the link to her article down below so that you guys can check it out but thanks so much for watching this video make sure you like as always comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video